Welcome to Relationships Work. I'm Lori Hollander. And I'm Bob Hollander. And today we are going to give you a tip to recharge your relationship batteries. And our tip this week is that you can use defensiveness as a path to create deeper intimacy. That sounds ridiculous. I know, and that's because I wrote it. Are you criticizing me? I am not criticizing you. It sounds ridiculous to them. I read it, uh, and it, and it really makes a lot of sense, but it really sounds... Ridiculous. Well, I am going to contain my defensiveness because that's what we're going to talk with you about. You're a good therapist. Well, thank you. Mm-hmm. Now, it's natural in conversation when somebody feels criticized or attacked for that person to get defensive because we all have a fight or flight mechanism um, where when we perceive danger, we either fight the other person or we flee or withdraw. So that's where this comes from. However, in communication when that happens, it blocks the two people from really having a good dialogue and sometimes people don't come back to it because they don't know how. Right. right. So it's a fight or flight thing that happens almost unconsciously. I know it happens to me automatically and I'm not aware of it. And the, the key, I guess, you'll be getting to is understanding that and even more because the fight or flight, the, the, the need to fight, become defensive or to pull in and kind of like a, a defensiveness, it, underlying that are some very significant feelings that the person who's defensive needs to know. For the good of the whole relationship. Exactly. And when you can take a look at yourself and, in a kind way, take a look at your partner, you can really learn more about each other. So, Bob, you had an example. I did. Uh, This actually happened with us. Uh, You've been um, on me, Mm -hmm. justifiably so, although although it doesn't feel that way when you're on me Mm -hmm. again, to get these gold-plated... DVDs so we can transfer our videos to DVDs. Yeah, our videos that are how many years old, Bob? Uh, they, they, they're they probably 20 years old. Maybe 10. Maybe 10. Okay, so the, okay. the hard kids. So I've been asking you for a long for time. For a long time. And and I, when you every time you ask me that, I kind of put it off. And I get defensive, like, Lori, I know, I know that um, I need to do this. Uh, I'm working on it. I've been researching. Uh, don't push me. I'm not stupid. Uh, I will get them when I do, I'm finished with my due diligence. We'll do them. So okay. lay off already. All right. So you can see how this could escalate into a fight. Well, in, instead of fighting about it, the other way to handle defensiveness is to do the following four steps. The first thing is identifying when it happens. So it, to not allow this conversation to escalate into something where we're actually a- escalating our anger and hurting each other. And the second step is to reflect upon what the defensiveness means to you. So Bob, what does it mean to you when you feel that I'm criticizing or attacking and you get defensive? Excuse me. You see... When I was being defensive, I was really wearing my army hat. I am a veteran, okay? And I am, in in those commercials, have army strong, I'm strong, I'm macho, uh, I'm an indestructible, I have things under control. See? See army? I got it. it. Okay, that's my kind of like a defense mechanism. When I'm wearing this hat, I am really covering up other feelings, like... I feel stupid about, let me just take away that, I feel stupid about not knowing about DVDs. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want to call my nephew, who is an expert at transferring these things, mm-hmm. because then that elevates him above me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel very inadequate. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, don't, I feel powerless because I don't think I can really do it. I'm mm-hmm. afraid to do it. That's all, all right. covered up by my defensiveness. Exactly. Now, the third step is seek to understand why you feel this way. So, where does this belief come from that you are inadequate, that you feel stupid? And... Uh, only from my total past. <laughs> As a kid, <laughs> I have had these things come up all the time. And I think a lot of... And men are supposed to be like strong and take charge. But sometimes we can't be taking charge 
about everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think if we can admit that to ourselves and then admit it to our partner, it makes for a much more genuine conversation. Right. And when you share this, Bob, with me, mm -hmm. um, it really helps me understand more about who you are yeah. and about how you work. Right. And I then can really... Um, Talk to you about this in a in a way that is less critical and uh, you know be more sensitive right. to your feelings. And it's very important to me because out in the world, when I'm army, I can't be vulnerable. I have to be strong. Okay, but I got married to kind of relax a little bit and have some person who I can be vulnerable with. And the amazing thing about it is that's exactly what she wants me to be, mm -hmm. more vulnerable. Yeah. So when we have these kind of conversations, it really does deepen our intimacy and we get to know each other on a deeper level. And then it decreases our arguing. So, Bob. Yes. When are you going to get those DVDs? I'm putting him on the spot now. Lori. You know, you ask me these things, and I want to tell you what it brings up for me. No, no, no. When are you going to do them? I'm going to do them Sweetheart. tomorrow. Sweetheart. I'm going to do that. I'm going to call. Steve, you're listening. You're getting a call That's from me. That's our nephew. Right away, uh, because I know uh, I'm not at fault for feeling afraid about something mm -hmm. that I feel so inadequate about doing. Uh, I, you already know that, mm -hmm. so that swept away. There's no reason for my defensiveness. Now I can finally get on it. Okay. So to learn more about this, go to our website, relationshipswork.com. You can look on our blog or you can click on our store and we have lots of resources for you. So we'll see you next week. I'm still a little nervous, but I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, Take care. Yeah.